what's up guys thanks for tuning in we just uploaded a video right now to the patreon and it's going to be going over what my topic was this week i kind of preview you you know that for you guys on monday but we've been going through an evolution of videos getting to a point where we've been working with you know a certain set of cones i call them high gas capture storage cones um, but we've been looking at venting Specifically, you know, a lot of cans out there, especially in the Form 4 world, do have some sort of vent or hole in them. And while I've played around with this myself quite a bit um, over time, as well as so as many of my friends, uh, I felt like there was more to mess with it and refine it. And I've been kind of getting to that point through a series of videos. So today is the day... I'm going to go ahead and play a little clip here for you so you can kind of have an idea of what we've been um, working with. But long story short, today's video is going to be going over some of that. So, you know, this is going to be my plans. This is going to be one of the cans we've done. I've recently added a section for you to see where all my like abbreviations and videos, uh, um, different cans are. But we're going to be looking at selective cone venting this week on Friday metering and doing a breakdown so stay tuned for that friday will be the metering video and then there will probably be a supplemental video where we take the data versus the non-vented data even further looking at 300 blackout 556 308 really hoping to see some improvements on the 556 side of things that we can then take and apply this knowledge to a host of other suppressors using Fairly traditional, you know, geometry in cans. So bear with me here. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You can watch these videos at patreon.com slash student. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you guys later.